Welcome to this video. In this video, we will listen to God says last speech in courtroom. The evidence presented by the prosecutors is not able to prove the allegation. I am in response to the incident of January 30. In other times also I have not conspired with anyone and have not helped anyone so I would have denied the charge. Of conspiracy I think it is necessary to explain how and why I came to Delhi. I have always been saying this without hiding it. I have been propagating the principles against the principles of Gandhiji. It has been my absolute belief that the promotion of non-violence in an uncontrolled and excessive manner will make the Sanat and Dharma weak. So I decided to organize small and familiar people in public works. I and Apt worked in this direction and circulated a daily pioneer Agrani. We were not against Gandhiji's non-violence, but when Gandhiji started revealing his perverse political views in prayer meetings then I and my colleague decided that we would peacefully oppose Gandhi's programs. We had such demonstrations in Pune, Delhi, and Mumbai. There was a huge difference between us and Gandhiji's principles. The differences grew even more when the Congress, which was following Gandhiji, accepted the partition of our motherland on 15 August 1947. I will elaborate on this subject on January 13, 1948, when I came to know that Gandhiji had gone another hunger strike. By this fast he wanted an assurance that Hindu-Muslim unity should remain alive in a divided India. But I and many people could see this clearly, that the real goal of the fast was something else. Gandhiji wanted to talk to the government of India that government of India would give Pakistan 55 crore rupees. The government of India completely disagreed with this proposal of Gandhiji. In this subject Mr. Apt advised that there should be continuous protest in Gandhiji's meetings. I agreed to this proposal but I knew that I know that such efforts would be utterly fruitless. Yet there was no other solution besides this so we decided to demonstrate and with this determination we went to Mumbai. By coincidence here I found a refugee whom he showed me a pistol. I like that pistol and I bought it. It was this pistol that from which I targeted Gandhiji. The prosecutor says that I was guided by Veer Savrakar and if his encouragement had I not able to Gandhi. Every night it there is a lie in his statement I strongly oppose such truthless allegations. That charge is an insult to my balance intellect and intelligence. The employer says that I am a puppet of someone's hand. The reality is that this is a lie. I am proud of Hindutva. I have been thinking of freedom as I grew up. And all Hindus are equal to this determination. Whether they are born in any caste or have any business, they should be seen from same social and religious point of view. Hindutva is always against casteism. That's why I have openly participated in many such meals and functions, in which Brahmin Kshatriyas, Vaishya, Dalits, and others had dined together. I have read the writings of Dada Bain. Naraji Gokhale, Vivekananda and B.A.L. Gangadhar to look and read the history P.F. Ancient and Modern India. Also I have read the history of big countries of the world England, France, America and Russia. Not only this I have also read books on socialism and communism of Russia. But most of the attention has been given to the, the ideas of Veer Savrakar and Gandhiji over the years. The views of two these men will be influenced enough on hearing their view. It seems that is a patriotic. My first duty is to serve Hindu and Hindutva because protecting the entire Hindus is for the betterment of the fifth part of the world. Serving all Hindus is like serving one-fifth of the world, one-fifth of humanity inspired by this ideology. I was drawn towards the Hindu organization and my conviction become strong that the freedom of the motherland can be sustained by taking this principle forward into those days some incidents happened that Savrakarji and other leaders of my thoughts will not subvert the age policy. In 1946 in Surawardi's governments in Bengal Naokali the atrocities on Hindus by Muslims burned our blood. I and Apt decided that in Gandhiji's prayer meetings we will do so much vigorous protests that it will become impossible for him to do the meeting. Mr. Apt also took out a procession across the city along with some refugees in which slogans were raised against Surawardi and Gandhijis and demonstrate. In the prayer meeting of Banji Kloloni at that time we had no idea of violence, yet Gandhiji frantically took refuge from the back door and tried to protect himself. When Mr. Savraka read about us he did not praise our work but he called me very bad in solitude for his work if we had awful demonstrations. Nevertheless he said that in the same way that I condemn the fact that those who support the Congress oppose our meetings similarity I should also condemn that the Hindu organization we also oppose the meetings if Gandhiji speaks against the Hindus in his prayer meetings. In the same way you should also hold your meeting but refused Gandhiji's view. We should all propagate our speech according to the constitution rules. The second important event it occurred when India it was decided at that time that India is going to be partitioned. Some Hindu brothers wanted to know what will be the relationship between Hindu Mahasabha and Congress after partition. The Hindu leaders such as Veer Savrakar had said that the government formed in the Indian Union should not be seen as a government of particular party like Congress. The national government of India should understand and obey each of its members command. He said that he is very much pained due to the creation of Pakistan but is ready to protect the freedom and will give support to the new government to sustain the freedom India had get after so much sacrifice. Hindu parties do not give support to the new government there will be a civil war like situation in the country. After some time violence erupted in Punjab and Bengal Muslims started killing Hindus, firing their homes and properties and raping theater girls. But in response in Bihar an Indian side Congress started killing Hindus who were trying to take revenge. Which take the confidence of Muslims to another level have Congress had not done it demographics of India would have changed. The same that we were afraid of happened at one place on August 15th in 1947. Congress was in light and celebrating, 
and at the other place on the same time Hindus had been targeted by Muslims in Punjab and Bengal. Hindu leaders were supporting Congress at that time so I decided to educate young Hindus who were fascinated by the Hindu organizations about our ideology and objectives.